In this video, I will teach you the operations on set. Basically, we have four operations on sets. The first operation is the union of sets. Union of sets is the combination of the elements of the given sets such that no element must be repeated. The symbol for the union of sets will be this. So, it looks like U. For example, so we have sets A and B. So, set A with the elements 2, 4, 5, and 6. And set B with the elements 4, 6, 7, and 8. Then, let us get A union B. As I have said a while back, we are going to combine the elements of the given sets such that no element will be repeated. So, A union B now is equal to the set with the elements. So, we have 2, 4, 5, 6, then we also have 7 and so that is A union B. Another example, so we have sets S and T. On set S, we have the elements M, A, N, G, O. On set T, we have the elements O, R, A, N, G. So getting now the union of S and T. So, S union T is equal to the set with the elements. So, we have M, A, N, G, O. Then, we have R, then E. So, that is what we call the union of sets. The second operation on set is the intersection of sets intersection of sets contains all the elements that are common on the given sets the intersection of sets can be denoted by this symbol so it looks like an inverted u for example we have Sets A and B with the elements 2, 4, 5, 6, and we also have 4, 6, 7, 8. Then, let us get A intersection B. So, as I have said a while back, intersection of sets contains the elements that are common on the given set. So, what are the common elements of both? sets A and B. So we have the set with the elements we have 4 and 6. So that is A intersection B. Another example, so we have sets S and set T with the elements M, A, and G, O. Then we have on set T we have O, R, A, and G, E. So let us find for S intersection T. So that will be the set with the elements. So what are the common elements of S and T? We have A, N, G, and O. So that is intersection of sets. So the third operation on set is the difference of two sets. So, in here, we are going to subtract sets. For example, we have sets A and B. So, set A with the elements 2, 3, and 4. Then, set B with the elements 4, 5, and 6. So, let us subtract or get the difference of A and B. So, A minus B 
So a minus b means the elements of a which are not the elements of b. So what are the elements of a that are not elements of b? So we have the set with the elements 2 and 3. So that is a minus b. How about b minus a? So b minus a means that the elements of b which are not elements of a. So what are the elements of b that are not elements of a? So that will be the set with the elements 5 and 6. So that is the difference of two sets. The fourth and the last operation on set is the complement of a set. So complement of a set is a set of elements of the universal set which are not elements of the given set. For example, we have our universal set as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we also have two given sets such as set X with the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and set Y with the elements 6, 7, 8, 9. So complement of a set can be denoted by an apostrophe or mathematically it can be read as prime. So let us get for the complement of set X. So that will be X prime or the complement of X will be equal to the set with the elements the set with the elements so the elements will be the elements of the universal set that are not elements of the given set. So what are the elements of our universal set but not the elements of the given set? So we have 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that is x prime or complement of x. Another. So let us get y prime or the complement of set y. So in this we are going to get the elements that are present on our universal set but not on set Y. So, we have the set with the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, those are the four operations on set we have.